Anika, nice to meet you. My name's Dave from uh, HeyYouGuys.co.uk. Um, congratulations on becoming a Disney princess. Thank you. How does that feel? Fantastic. Yeah. I feel great. And have you met any of the other princesses uh, from the other films? No, that, I haven't you, met any of the other. You're not going to do a princess meet-up or something like I that? I think we should. I think you should too. I think we need to have a big princess movie reunion where they all get together and figure out how to share clothing or something. <laughs> you can all, all share dresses. Um, which of the past princesses is your favourite, and did any of them help to shape your character as, T- as Tiana? I really like Cinderella. Uh, I like that she, you know, she wasn't really expecting anything to be given to her. And uh, I liked the grace with which she handled her situation, which was not nice. And I loved her gown, pretty fierce gown. Um, no, I can't say that they shaped uh, who Tiana is or, or my take on her. I think she is very um, much a product of um, her environment and, and, and the men that created her, but she's also very much a piece of me. She's very similar to me, and uh, I like her. Um, what did Disney mean to you growing up, and did this influence your performance? I was a huge Disney geek. <laughs> um, I don't know how it may have influenced my performance, except that I came to it with such a great amount of joy to be able to be a part of this family of fantasy. Um, I'm thrilled about it every single day. I mean, I used to, you know, we watched The Wide World of Disney when I was little, Mm -hmm. and The Wonderful World of Disney, and Tinkerbell was going around the castle, and I just, I know a song from any Disney movie you can name, and I just um, have loved it for so very long. What did it feel like when you were cast in the film? Could you believe it that you'd been put into a Disney movie? Listen, I was so ecstatic. It was ridiculous. And I ran down the street. I was on Broadway. I ran down the street to the Disney offices, and we had an impromptu party. (laughs) Um, I could believe it because I honestly felt from the moment that I read it that it was for me. Um, You don't always get that feeling, but I did have that feeling this time, and I'm really, really glad I was not proven incorrect. (laughs) What qualities do you see in Tiana that are are important for young girls watching you? I think that her sense of purpose, her um, ability to be goal-oriented, her determination, um, but also her softness... um, the ability and the need to wish and to dream, Um, and the ability to learn that she's not, she wasn't finished yet, Mm -hmm. that there are other things to take in. Those are all very, very important things for Um, children to take. Yeah, absolutely. What's the next thing for you? Um, Will it be live action, or do you you think you might do another animation? uh, I don't know what the next thing is going to be. I would love to do more animation. I would love to do. I'd love to do an action movie. I'd like to do some more work on on this side. I'd love to do some film here in in Britain. I, I don't know what it's going to be. Um, did the directors guide you on how a twenty first century princess should be? Um, and did did you get to give your own opinion as well? I did get to have my own opinion, and they were very um, free about letting me form who she is. Um, yes, they, you know, the directors always have input in what you're doing. They have something to say. Um, they'll try it this way, try it another way. Um, but I think that I was very, very clear on who Tiana was. She's very similar to me. Mm. Um, and this was something that I realized as we were going along in the process. Um, so I really understood the heart of this girl. Excellent. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.